Yo, my name is Zosh. Yo, it's Young Static. What's cracking, guys? This is Christian from Honda Vlogs. Yo, 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 vatos locos. This is Vasile Garage. And you know who you're watching? You're watching Lazy Man Garage. You're watching Lazy Man Garage. And you're watching Lazy Man's Garage. Lazy Man Garage. His lower control arms, his top camera kits, and his rear camera kits, which I feel like he already did. No? <laughs> I, got, I need to get an extension and I need a hammer to knock that up. Oh, and also. Bam. That bad boy's going on today, too. Chris Nadowski, don't be mad at me. Placing the uh, camber kits in order to do it. The best way to do this is uh, it's a 17 millimeter bolt here and on the other side, and it's a 14 millimeter bolt here. Yeah, it's a 14 millimeter bolt here. And then you bust this, uh, I think it's also 14, I'm not too sure, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure. And then you bust the two 14s on the top. Drop this out, and this will come right out, because sometimes they have a metal plate on the cords, usually they have a metal plate that goes back here, that kind of wraps around it, acts as like, I think it's like a stability kind of thing. Um, but once this comes out, and the bottom piece comes out, this fork will drop, this will come down, then you just bust, you undo this, bust it out, unscrew those, which are uh, 17s, and that, that'll drop, put the new one in, and reverse the process. So it's all out, old camber kit, uh, uh, the new one. Oh, the new ones are all back up too. Fuck you, Kostler. Fuck you, Chris. What do you mean, be a man? You know about? what you're talking about, my boy. Don't you got like a beer to drink? Oh, speaking of beer. This right here. Speaking of beer. Joe hooked your boy up with a 12 pack of Coca Cola. And what he's doing right now is he's going to measure the new camera kits, which are True Heart, right? Sure. Or wicked, these, these are Wicked Tuning. Wicked Tuning. And he's going to uh, measure them up with the stock camera kit. I convinced him uh, we should do some uh, undercoating but he said not right now he wants to originally take all this stuff off and then maybe undercoat it yes. undercoat it redo it completely all the way through you know what's different what will be really different that color of this right right under there what do you think under the, hood? Under the wheel well you know what i see the soul and i kind of got an idea like that his car's all white and the inside is red like if it was like a louis vuitton shoe or the insides are red, the inside is red, but the car is white. But he did it like, like legit, where he did just spray paint over everything. And it looks hard. And you know what? That actually would be a good idea. And even when I mean, take out the trailing arms, uh -huh. to get them power coated, get them power coated that gray color too. And get them, uh, these uh, control arms powder coated too. Yeah. Well, eventually they're gonna come So you're going, your, your thing is uh, this gunmetal gray. Bernardo gray, yeah. Bernardo gray with billet. Black, black billet, yep. That's what, those are the three colors, black billet and uh, Bernardo Gray. Those are my wheel, my, my schemes until... What up, Marky? Oh my god, Christian Lazy Man Garage. Dude, big fan, big fan. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, Joe's gonna go get the uh, fork for the ball joint because the ball joint wants to be a little stubborn whore. But we already got the camera kit in. We're gonna measure it uh, to where it should be and then tighten everything up. And we're changing the lower control arms to these ones right here, which are uh, EM... Emusa, Emusa, E M U S A, whatever these are. He already put the rear camera kit on the, for that tire, and then after we get done with the suspension today, we're gonna put in the X brace that goes in, which is that Bernardo gray. I'm already pretty sure I've already said it already, but uh, that's what's going on with the car. Okay, so camera kit's in. Um, we didn't go with the LCAs because we found out that these, I think these are the ones that Zosh bought. Um, this part right here is a little too thick and the sway bar end link is hitting right here on the metal, causing it not to line up with this part right here and not to go in with there. So I think Zosh ran into the same problem and then we ran into another problem where we were going to change the tie rod ends. but. This thing is so seized that it won't do it, so he's gonna take it to a shop later and have that get done. We got the camper kits in, 
everything's all tightened up he's gonna put the cotter pins in the top and bottom and then we're gonna let that little fork over there dry and then we're gonna put the suspension back in and then we'll do the other side because he still has to do the back and the front <sighs> you're gonna flip it over after this yeah I, I just did it right now oh okay yeah he already got this camera kit done and then we're working on this one right now he's just painting that and then we're gonna do that motherfucking X brace. Choo. Putting on one of these Targa, uh, Targa, how do you go? Targa, 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 tar tar how well, do you say? It? Homie called it a X brace, so. X brace. Putting these on, my God. How Chris did it by himself, I have no fucking idea, but this thing is a bitch. First, you gotta bolt it in there, and then you gotta put a spacer in between. And on this side, it wants to be a little stubborn whore. That side bolted up and that side bolted up. He already got it powder coated gray to match his rims that I'm not going to show because that's a secret. A couple weeks or maybe a Man, couple it's days. Just, it's just... God damn this, this bitch. What the fuck? Yeah, I know, right? And then these arms didn't fit. The tie rods didn't go on. And now this. But it looks good. It looks really good. It's no, uh, it's no Sadowski bar, because Sadowski made that shit look really nice and easy. But I mean, it's fucking in there. And the reveal on how it looks, not too bad, not too shabby. Okay, so I'm in the car, and I have good palm size. Uh, Headroom, but goddamn, looking at it is scary. <laughs> I look at it and I'm like, ah! <laughs> so yeah, so it's uh, it's pretty scary. So go take it for a spin and uh, see how it does. Okay, so he got everything squared away and went for a drive. And what was the final verdict? Does it make a difference? A huge difference. It's that uh, that X brace, no more chassis flex, nothing. I took it. I was driving side to side and dude, it solid. No more squeaking in there. Fucking solid as would, shit. would you recommend it to other Del Sol oh, owners? Definitely, definitely, definitely. That thing is man. I, if I knew about it I a long time part. ago, I would have bought that a long time ago. Who's the one who told you about it? Well, I started I started following Die Hard Del Sol, and actually it's a funny thing. I was watching YouTube videos, and this guy about a year and a half ago posted it. He got it from some he said, Oh, some guy called Die Hard Del Sol sells them in California. I'm like, perfect, I'm gonna start looking for him. I went on his IG, I'm like, oh, there's a guy. I hit him up, I'm like, hey, bro, I need one. Back in December, I think two months later, because he's busy, mm -hmm. he's like, hey, bro, I got your x brace finished. I was like, hell yeah. You already paid for it? Yeah, I paid for it, everything. You paid for it in December? No, I paid for it when I picked it up. Oh, shit. But he he he, he would uh, only do it if you're, like, legit serious. So I thought at first, because it would have been, like, three months, I'm like, damn, I don't think he's going to make me that brace. And then I don't know, random, like, uh, e IG uh, DM, he's like, hey, bro, it's ready. I'm like, fuck yeah. Go pick it up, and he's he's in Yakaipa, so he was local. Fits nice. I have a lot of headroom. He has a lot of headroom in here. Next, he got these. Uh, he has one rim under here. I'm not gonna show you anything, but I'm, I am gonna show you just that little bit of lip right there. Bernardo Gray. That's all I'm gonna show you. You know what? He said the car runs fantastic. That's good news for me. I did my job. I'm glad he enjoys his car. He makes me want to Del Sol. Him and Rico and Chris Sadowski both, well, all three of them, make me want to Del Sol. And it's like, fuck, I can have one. But I'm going to end the video here. If you guys like this video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I reply to every comment. If I don't, I at least make sure I like it and heart it. If you guys are local in the San Bernardino or IE area and you guys want some motor work done, whether it's Nissan, Honda, Mitsubishi, whatever, head on over to SB Machine Shop located right off of Waterman. If you guys want anything from Neo's Garage, use the link down below. Save yourself 5% off of your uh, entire purchase. Um, that goes for anything Spoon, Mugen, K-Tune, Blocks, whatever it is, Neo got you. I'm Chris from Lazy Man Garage, and I'm lazy, so you don't have to be. Till next time. Peace.